Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We just got back from a supply raid mission. It went really well. It could have been better as far as uh, picking up the supplies themselves, but the only wound we got out of that was because we didn't know how one of the spectral zombies worked. So definitely can't complain there. I think we got about 100 supplies out of it, and yeah, Gizmo was the only one wounded. Uh, of course, Alexander's wounded from a covert action. And... Right now, speaking of covert actions, we are doing the final Hunt the Hunter. Um, there's a chance that one of these people will be wounded. That's okay, because as soon as we finish this, we can actually try to take him out permanently. Once and for all. Uh, pretty excited about that, I think. Let's see, we're still researching power armor. That'll be a while. Supply drop's coming in really soon. Okay, let's do a quick quick pay our respects here to the wall of shame uh, now this looks interesting i got a special request here from one of our donors it reads an intriguing offer for your listeners i will triple the standard price for every advent burger they can deliver to this location in the remote territories names a bit scribbled it's hard to read <laughs> tegan tegan Tilgen, Tigen, <laughs> guy's not winning any awards for penmanship, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I haven't heard that before, that's hilarious. So, Dr. Tigen is the confirmed Advent Burger Thief. Okay. <laughs> to each their own. Alright, let's, let's go through this list real quick. There's only nine of them. Let me see if it goes in the order I think. Oh, you can't, can't really go to the next one. Okay. First, we lost, uh... What, what mission was this on? This was Operation Swamp Shriek. Was that the black site? Yes, it was. We lost three soldiers that fateful day. Brendan O'Connor was lost to the Stun Lancer because we underestimated the range. I kind of remember that. But then we lost Nicola, our best, sharp star yeah, our best sharpshooter at the time. Killed by the Hunter. And then, of course, Pinkbeard. I was pretty, pretty unhappy about that. I was hoping, I know I've said this, but I was hoping he would be uh, with us long term. He's the hunter's first casualty, so we will avenge him very soon. Then, we went on another mission, and we lost our spark. Our first and only spark, he's made zero kills. He only made one attack and dealt one damage. Probably because he missed? I don't know. Or maybe it was the, the turret, and he only got through the shield just barely or something. So that's a shame. Um, then we lost Jaina, who was one of our first Gatecrasher soldiers. She was a corporal. 79 days on a, the adventure, and we are reminding ourselves here to always evac when things look impossible. Um, she was on the same mission, that's right. Okay, I think she bled out or something. And Xenia got captured on that mission as well, but we have her back now, luckily. Then... We lost our first faction hero. This was Operation Dawn Tower, I think, right? Uh, yeah, Operation Dawn Tower. We rushed ahead, not realizing there was a squad left at the uh, at the beacon we were supposed to destroy, and they certainly cleaned her out. Then we lost another faction hero on a retaliation because we overestimated the parry ability. It's not the first time we've done that. Well, that was the first time. <laughs> it's not the last time we did that. Uh, this squatty here, he's made three kills, but he was only on one mission, and he died on that mission due to a grenade. I think that was the same, yeah, that was the same retaliation mission. And if I remember right, I totally called that grenade coming too, but I was just making some dumb moves that day. And lastly, most recently, we have lost our final faction hero, Cadna. Simply to a trooper. Very unfortunate. Well, press F to pay respects. Sorry, guys. I'll try to keep it as low as possible as far as number of soldiers dead. <sighs> anyway, now that that's done with, um, I believe we have a couple idle engineers. Yes, we do. So, oh, that's right. I wanted to decide what to build here. Hmm... The Scilab is nice, 
But I'm honestly thinking the shadow chamber might be what we want to go for here. This will use up our power, which is fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and build the shadow chamber. That has multiple benefits. Now, I know the Scilab allows us to start training rookies as uber super soldiers. But we'll get to that. I mean, we don't even have any rookies right now, so we'd have to recruit rookies and... I don't know. I'm going to go with the shadow chamber and get just get a late start to the Scilab. Shadow chamber construction initiated. Renee Lafarve. And I will throw our final engineer into uh, the proving ground. Now I could also uh, I could also take one of these out if I need to. I don't think I need to though. We have someone in the infirmary already. Defense matrix. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Okay, back to the map. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. That will be our supplies. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. That makes two of us. Now, you'll notice over here there's no Avatar Project progress that went up. That's due to the fact that we destroyed the facility, which delays that from happening. Now, from this point on, I think it goes back to normal, so they'll start building that again. But we do already have another facility unlocked, so we can just take that down when we need to. I was good before, but mm. this is something else entirely. I'm on a whole other level. So now, not only will he generate kinetic plating every time we miss, he'll also possibly return fire every time we'll miss. This guy, this Chosen, is really going to be a pain to take out. It won't be long now, for your secrets flow to me as easily as the Elder's blessed power. The Chosen haven't given up on finding us, Commander. One of them is closer than ever. Yeah, I know. Um, it looks like the assassins are going to sabotage the Avengers somehow. What does this mean? He increases risks on covert actions. Does that mean permanently, or...? Oh, maybe that's just from getting to this point. I don't know. A little confused. Dark event-wise, uh, we have rapid response. This would guarantee reinforcements on Guerrilla Ops for a month. They're still preparing for the black market closing, and there's a hidden event that we don't care about quite yet. Now, they are going to retaliate pretty soon. We'll have to be on the lookout for that. All those freed from the elders okay. Are eager to hear your orders, Commander. Perfect. So now we have an additional slot here with the Reapers. Let's go to Resistance Rising 2. Now we could theoretically keep both of these, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, hold on. I can't take that out because... why? Interesting. Oh, there we go. Well, why can't I take this one out? That's weird. It's like it... It doesn't realize we're getting the effects of this one until I apply it. That's too bad. Well, I'm going to keep Stay With Me, and... I might replace Greater Resolve with Hidden Reserves too. And I don't know if I want to keep Vulture or... Uh, or replace that with Sabotage. I think I'll do this. Well, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Because we're still going to be good on the Avatar for... A little while so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do this because I don't really care about sending lightly wounded soldiers into combat either I think I don't know I kind of like what I have hmm I'll do the power 
I guess. My followers will obey. And we'll come back to the alien alloys because I would really like to pick the, up these supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Only three days, let's do it. One, Sophia's back. Two, two dark events are gone. And the plasma grenade is done. All right. Now all of our frag grenades have been upgraded to plasma grenades, which is what the muton carries. More armor shredding and does more damage. We can research advanced explosions now. Explosives, actually. Uh, I think this just lets us upgrade other grenades. So I'll get to that. Now, I don't have enough cores to do a spark, otherwise I might consider that. So maybe I will do the advanced explosives. Yeah, let's go for it. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. All right. Let's finish up that supply run. There we go. Now. Uh. I guess I'll try to finish this up. I think I think we're going to hit that retaliation counter before we finish this. Almost guaranteed. You know what? Hold on. I have two extra contacts now. Is there anything I can do to benefit from that? Uh, you know what? I'd actually like to start working on Africa because if we get these territories, that would instantly collect supply drops. Now, it'll be a while because we have to get all three areas plus two radio towers. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. There's always Asia, but I don't care about that too much either. Although there are these facilities that we're going to need to worry about pretty soon. Hmm. And they're both in Asia as well. What's the bonus for this? <laughs> Where is it? Uh, can I not see it yet? Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll work on Asia. So we get New India back. This was the first place we made contact with in the beginning. And then we lost it to that failed retaliation. And by failed retaliation, I mean the one that we missed doing completely. So 42 supplies, and let's also make contact with East Asia. Oh, let's not, actually. We don't have the intel for that. That means we need more radio towers. Well, we have one in West Asia because that's where we are from. So that means it's pretty much either New Arctic or New India. Well, we'll come back to that. Definitely New Arctic. Or, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, New Arctic. Might as well go ahead and start that. 150 supplies. They get more expensive the more you build. But we're going to need to do this anyway. Setting course for the Arctic. And I know I have that weapons dealer thing to scan, but again, I'm kind of waiting on the retaliation. Sabotage. Oh, no. 
<laughs> so too shall I adapt to satisfy the elder's vision and claim my reward. Well, it looks like the past week of research has been in vain. Commander, we need to keep an eye out for the chosen sabotage attempts. We don't have any more time to lose. Well, that's all right. We can deal with it. Let's go ahead and start building this. The bond training is done now, and we have a retaliation. Where? I hope at least a few New India again. Interesting. There's no sport in shooting fish in a barrel. This is Hunter territory, and we haven't seen him for a while, so he might show up. Operation Steel Stank. Haven Assault. Again, I don't know the wording. I don't know if that means they're going to have guns or not. Probably not. Let's go. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. Carlota and Alex are bond level 3 as well as uh, Mandisa and Kadia. Who's going to come? Well, we know the hunter is bad against Templar, so she's coming. Let's go ahead and clear everyone out though. Storm. And she has stasis too. That's nice. She does have a mind shield, I don't think, uh... You know what, does that protect against, like, days and everything? It kind of does. Well, it doesn't say days, it says disorientation, stun, panic, and mind control. I'll keep it on her, just in case. Alright, let's bring... Alex and Carlota. He is a captain while well, she's a lieutenant, but we can work on that. And look, upgraded frag grenades, very nice. Especially since the hunter is weak against explosives. Let's also bring... Um, hmm. I should bring both level 3s, but now nah, I don't think so. How about instead we'll bring Rascal and Xenia... So we have two rangers, a sharpshooter, a specialist, a templar. We could bring a grenadier for those explosions. Explosives. Unfortunately, our best and basically only grenadier is out on a covert action. Uh, so is one of our other ones. So the best we can do right now is Sergeant Brendan Morrison, who's been with us for a while. This is his chance to prove his worth. Sergeant's higher than Corporal, right? Yes, barely. So he has Shredder and Demolition as compared to... Um, hold on. As compared to Karen, who just has Blast Padding. So yeah, we're getting Brendan Morrison in here. Way at the bottom. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're useless, that's okay. We'll go with unequipped barracks and start outloading everybody. So he's definitely getting the exosuit with the rocket. Uh, well, yeah, I think I'm actually going to keep the rocket launcher since that's an explosive. And does he have heavy ordnance? No, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just give him a gas grenade, a plasma grenade. Oh, that's it, right? That's because... right. Mag cannon-wise, we'll give him the upgraded one. Nice purple mag cannon. That's Jennifer's. Take good care of that. Okay. Well, I know Xenia's... Uh, not Xenia. I know Rascal is getting a med kit and a skull jack. Well, yeah. We can always skull mine people if we have to. Upgraded mag rifle, advanced stock, advanced scope. Hmm. I'll give Alex the Talon rounds. And... I guess a grenade. Well, yeah. And Xenia's gonna get a Mimic Beacon. And, whoops. And... Maybe a grenade. 
Yeah, I think so. We'll go with the grenade. And that leaves Carlota. She's getting blue screen rounds, just in case. And not a grenade, but well, not a not a plasma grenade. I think I'll actually give her the flashbang. And of course, the better sniper rifle, advanced scope and expanded magazine. We'll do the superior scope and expanded magazine. And the better shard gun, superior hair trigger, advanced laser sight. You get the other shard gun. As far as weapon upgrades go, let me see what I have here. Mm, you know what? I have a lot of stuff. I have advanced repeater, expanded magazine, laser sight, stock, and an auto loader. Uh, is there anything I want to replace? Superior hair trigger, advanced laser sight, expanded magazine, superior scope. Advanced stock, advanced scope. All these are pretty good. Hmm. Oh, they're at the repeater. Hmm. I might put the repeater on this instead of the. What? It, what was it? Hair trigger. 10% to instantly kill when you hit. I'll take that over the 5% chance to get a free action. Okay. Is that everything? We have grenade launcher, sword... Oh, hold on. Build items. Uh, we can probably upgrade our grenade launcher now. Yes. There we go. Hmm. We could even upgrade, upgrade the blade. You know what? Let's do it. All right. That's an upgrade from the other one, which we never bought, so we saved all kinds of money doing that. Uh, do I want to build any more of these? I don't think so. Yeah, we're good. So I think we're all ready to go. Um, real quick, let me check the abilities. Mm. I could do this. Her hacking. What's her hacking stat? 74. Pretty, pretty good. Oh, she's an obsessive reloader. Hmm. Interesting, that doesn't show up here. I might, might be an option. Uh, does anyone else have any negative traits I need to worry about? I don't think so. Yeah, not, not him. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Combat protocol, haywire, scanning. I think we're good here. What about Xenia? Blade Master. Hmm. Let's do Blade Master. And speaking of that, yep, they both have the fusion blade. They're both Blade Masters, so awesome. And you? I don't think so. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're ready to go. So let's do it. Two pairs of Bond Mates, a Templar, and a Grenadier. Sky Ranger deploy. In position for deployment. I have a little bit of high hopes for this mission. But I have definitely got my hopes up before, been all confident walking into a place and then all of a sudden it all goes wrong. So, I don't want to jinx myself. One of our contacts in the resistance says Advent peacekeepers have been spotted conducting a sweep near an outpost in this area. The aliens won't hesitate to kill anyone they find. So we're heading in to protect as many people as we can. Secure the camp and eliminate all hostile forces. Oh good, this is, I think this is the first one, right? Safe resistance forces, I'm pretty sure that means they have weapons, so that'll be a nice distraction for those aliens. Looks like there's a gas station. We'll have to make sure the hunter's standing right next to those pumps and take a shot. I should have brought the Reaper, did some remote starts. 
claymores and all that. I don't know. I think my team selection is okay. They look ready for action. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. Yep. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Yeah. So what's, what goes on here is you have a group at a time to deal with. There's a few unarmed civilians, looks like about four, and then like a couple with guns. And they will take shots at nearby aliens until you get there. And if they're left, if they survive, they'll run to help the next group. And it's just rinse and repeat until you've taken care of all the aliens. There's 19 total civilians. We have to rescue at least six. I think it's pretty easy to do. It may be a little easier than the other type of retaliation, but we'll see. Hmm. Well, who's our concealed soldier? I'm guessing it's... Alex? No? Xenia. So let's send her up to scout. Moving on target location. Look at that glowing fusion blade. Let's take a look at that. That's so awesome. Okay, can we just go... I don't want to go down and, and no cover. I would also like good line of sight, but I don't want to block the tree because I'd like to send one of our snipers up there. Our only sniper up there. Okay. Well, not you. Xenia, move up to this, uh... Oh, I don't know. I guess this rock should be fine, or down here even. Moving out. I should have got behind the high cover, oh well. Nothing? Okay, that should be... That should tell us that we're fine to move Carlota up here. And... We will keep Storm near the front lines as well. Hmm. I hope this isn't the retaliation mission where we first run into chrysalids. Those are a joy to deal with. Anyway. Um, what do we have over here? Potential enemies. I'll bring Storm down this way since Xenia didn't see, see anything. Okay. Um, Alex, can you go? Can you go join Carlota up here? Ten four. Ten four. He says. Alex has kill zone as well. In fact, let me remind myself of everybody's abilities. Run a gun, kill zone. Carlota has lightning hands. <clears throat> Rascal has run and gun. And Xenia, of course, has Conceal, Mimic Beacon, of course, okay. Rascal, we'll put you up behind this rock. Queda claro. And that just leaves Morrison, who we will put down here. Location confirmed. That bright and shiny new advanced grenade launcher. Here they come. Oh, no. <laughs> Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. Hello. <laughs> Chrysalid time. Well, time for them to fire. Oh, there's more over there. Oh, good, they hit him. Do that again, please, because I can't see that one. Um, uh, okay. Ah, fine. So, the bad thing about chrysalids, well, there's a lot of bad things, I'm not going to go over everything, but what we have to worry about the most is that anytime they hit anybody, um, they infect them with a weird type of poison, and if you don't heal that person, they'll eventually die, and when they die, they become basically a big egg sack that spawns more chrysalids. It's disgusting, terrifying, and super dangerous. So they are high priority targets. Now there is one over here. I'm a little worried about that one. Hmm. I 
I'm not sure what to do about that one, honestly. If, if we don't do something... These guys are in trouble. Well... Carlota can at least take down... At least hurt one of them quite a bit. So maybe I'll do that. Nice. And Rascal, I wonder if she can even see... Let's bring her down here. Ninety two percent, eighty two percent. Um, we'll come back to that because five to six. Um, let's take this one out from here with Storm. I will tear you apart. Nice. That'll give her some focus, and we'll be able to parry. Maybe. We'll move Brendan up, uh, up to here. Here I come. Here he comes. And take a shot at this guy, which should shred the armor. Nice. Hound dog. Uh, she's concealed. I'd like to keep it that way. So I tell you what. Let's try to finish this chrysalid off with Rascal. Then. Then what I'll do is, uh. Let me take a look at the angling here. Okay, there's a window there. That's what I'm worried about. So I'm gonna bring Alex like right in front of this window. I mean, I could run and gun, but no. I'll bring him right here. here I come. And if he can see the chrysalid, I'll just take a shot at it. Otherwise, I'll do Overwatch. No luck. Okay, Overwatch it is. Scanning. Hound dog, I guess. I guess I'll just move you up here. Heading to that location. And do a little scouting, maybe up up to this tree. Nothing, and I'll just parry with the Templar just in case. And here it comes, Alex. Oop, got another batch. Great. Nice. Well, we did kill that one, so I think these civilians might be safe for now. Of course, there's always this turn. Resistance, come on guys, turn around, shoot at those chrysalids. Nope, seriously? Okay. Let me do all the work. Hmm. Okay, well, Alex, I think I'm going to just bring you up top here. And hope that doesn't activate the entire world. Let's move already. Can't see anything, huh? That's actually kind of strange. We'll come back to that. Let's keep scouting ahead with Xenia a little bit. Um, no hunter yet. So, kind of weird. You know what? Actually, if I bring Xenia like up here, that should see a lot of stuff. Double time. Right. Or nothing at all? Oh, there it is. Okay. Can you see that, Alex? No. Overwatch would potentially take care of it. I wish it would tell how much damage this gun does. But there's a good chance we'd critically hit it, so... Now, Carlota, on the other hand, can't see a thing. I could, I could bring her up here, too. Although I'm a little worried... about storm can't rend it too far away that's too bad 
I'm in a bit of a weird spot. I'll tell you what. Let's go... Can we do anything useful with Brendan? Not in particular. If I go here, I'm... No, I don't think I... I was going to say I can see through there, but no way. Anything up here? Nope. Down here? Nope. <laughs> Need to shoot some holes in this wall or something. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll bring him here. Copy that. Storm, I'm a little concerned about her. Should I just bring everybody up here? I don't think so. This rascal. You know what? I think I'm going to use Run and Gun to bring her up here and Overwatch. Hopefully getting a good shot on that chrysalid. Oh no. Oh no. Rascal. We have to expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. <laughs> we just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Yeah. Now I'm guessing that I can't go overwatch after this. Well, maybe I can. I mean, that was run and gun, right? So let's see what happens. I'll bring her up here. Bien. Nope. No luck. That's a shame. Okay. I don't want to use kill zone, but you never know. There's probably more than one of these things. So maybe I should. On lockdown. Carlota, I don't think... Uh, you know what? I'm going to put her on Overwatch 2 in case it climbs up here. And Storm, I'm just going to move you up. I don't know. Somewhere that looks kind of halfway safe. It's far, but I can reach Everyone it. gather on this burning building. That can't go wrong. Here they come. Alex, please hit. Okay, that's a good start. Now, if he gets up here, I'm hoping Carlota finishes him off. Carlota, please. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Don't miss this one shot, Carlota. Nice! Okay. That probably prevented the death. <laughs> awesome. So there they go. We're going to generally follow them. There's a large group of civilians nice. pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. And we will do our best to do that. We took care of two squads of chrysalids. I think the proper terminology is pods, actually. Pods of enemies. So I'm going to start using that. Okay, Xenia, keep scouting ahead, please. Um, no hunter yet either, so I have high hopes for that not happening. Let's bring Xenia up here. Moving. Do some scouting. Nothing. I'll move her up here. Okay. That's a lot of civilians. Uh, well, Carlota, I'd like to move her up here. Yeah, she can barely reach that, so let's do this. And Rascal, the obsessive reloader. I don't know. Let's put Alex down here for a minute. Let's do this. And we should be safe to move up a little bit. I don't know. I don't want to go next to that fire, so I'm just going to put him over here. I'm tired of waiting around.
Again, I don't want to go next to fires, especially where there's vehicles involved. Let's put Rascal up here next to this log. Uh, maybe this part. And Brendan, what are we going to do with you? I'm kind of gathering everybody. Hmm. I'll just put him here and do overwatch. Finally. Can't get some. Storm. Um. We'll just go next to Rascal, I guess. Looks like they're shooting something. Oh, a mutant. Nice. A critical hit from a resistance. That's going to be nice. Nice and helpful. Sometimes they even end up killing a lot of the... Not a lot, but a few of the units. That, so you don't have to deal with them. <laughs> look, look at this. That's a codex. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Must have been part of his squad. Yep, here they come. Well, good thing we went on Overwatch. There went the Codex, even though he dodged. He or she, or whatever it is. Looks like a she. Oh, boy. That's two Codexes. And, well, never mind. It's one. <laughs> I'm loving the accuracy of these guys. Look at this. They haven't missed a single shot. Except for the one in the beginning. Now, these civilians are in a little bit of trouble. Look at this. They're just killing mutons, codexes, chrysalids. Oh, man. Well, they did miss that one. I have a good feeling about this. As young Han Solo would say. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. I do want to do more scouting with Xenia. Um, where should I do that? Not near a fire, preferably. Can we just go scout right, like right here? Running. Hmm. Wow. Was she not spotted? That was close. I wonder if they'll move. Probably. Two specters, but we have Carlota with her blue screen rounds. Hmm. That'll help a lot with them. A little too many berserkers for my liking, but again, these resistance guys with these guns are taking down my fears, my stress just a little bit. Okay. Let's move... I don't know. I can't see these enemies. I don't remember how much health they each have. I guess I'll just move up to here with Alex. Will do. Carlota, I would actually like if she could get up here, but she can't. Um, so it's gonna have to be behind these boxes. A la orden. Oh, hold on. What was I thinking? I could have shot at something and done a, a ton of damage. Uh, so much for that opportunity. I thought we couldn't see them because I I couldn't see them. I didn't know she had line of sight. Oh, it might have been these guys, actually. I guess that's fine. Rascal. Um... Just put you up here, near the not-so-dangerous gas station. No, I don't like that. I'll put you up here. And overwatch. You kind of need to reload. Well, not yet. Well, 
I mean, I could... <laughs> no, the rocket doesn't launch that far. Need to move up. It's pretty simple, I guess. No good place to move up to. There's really not. Could do this, I guess. I don't think that'll activate them. At least I hope it won't. Yeah, okay. And Storm, of course you can move up. Also to here. Should be fine. That seems reasonable. It does seem reasonable, thank you. Now, yikes. These poor civilians. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Oh. Take those bad Oh, wow. Down. I forgot they were targeting us, and here they come. Hello. Coming this way, huh? And spotted Xenia. That's all right. We kind of wanted to get her out and fight in any way. We're in a little bit of trouble. We're going to have to figure out what to do. And we are in trouble because four of our soldiers' weapons are disabled. Because of the codex I forgot about. Hopefully the resistance will... be useful here. Nice. That's what I'd call useful. Don't shoot the codex, please. Okay, thanks. I might use that flashbang. We'll see. Yeah, keep taking that berserker down. There's one more. It's probably going to shoot at it again. Okay. Very nice. Oh, still have another one left. What's he shooting at? Berserker? No? Oh, another muton. Okay. Another one. Missed this time. They have a lot of fighters. Okay, now... This is bad. We have... Well, Storm's fine. She can go slash at somebody. Alex has to move. Carlota actually has to move. Rascal has to move. And Xenia's fine. So... Smash... Rascal, Carlota, and Alex are basically useless this turn. I mean, they have to move and reload, so... Let me think about this. Smash can move and rocket somebody. We could do that. In fact... Uh, it looks like... Hmm, does rocket reach both of these? Hmm, almost doesn't look like I can do that, actually. That's a shame. Oh, I can get these two, though. And one of them is injured, so that might be nice. Do I want to use the rocket right now? There's also a gas grenade. I don't think... I don't think I want to do that, though. So, where can I move him and not completely be annihilated? Is this safe? I don't know. It might be, but it might not be. Not a lot of options, though. I could go here, but then we definitely have to take out this one, and we might not do that. So... Let me just go here. Tired of waiting around. And fire this. Take out these two. Well, at least take out the specter. I know there was a spot here where we could do that. Right there. Target locked. Here comes the rockets. Boom! Well, we didn't take out the specter. That's too bad. Storm now. 
I'm not sure yet which one I want to target. Xenia, though... Only a 69% to hit? Oh, behind high cover, huh? You know what? A Mimic Beacon... Mimic Beacon sounds really good right now. It, it really does. Let me get a Mimic Beacon out somewhere. Like... I don't know, out this way maybe? Like here? Then... We can go... Take this guy down from right here. <laughs> I love the backwards flip they just do off the... And then probably parry. We'll come back to that. Alex could go and slash... I guess. I could go slash somebody. We are Blade Masters here. Ooh, look at this. 9 to 11, 20% chance to crit. There's a good chance we could outright kill that Codex. Hmm. That's actually sort of tempting. I think I'll do that. Yeah, I think so, because there's a Berserker in here, but the Muton... If he doesn't target the resistance, then he'll target the Mimic Beacon. So, let's go here, slice up the Codex. Hope we get lucky. We did not get lucky, that's quite alright. They're gonna teleport instead of clone, because there's only one HP left. Which we're fine with. And then, we're gonna move Carlota. And, I think, fire the pistol to finish off the Codex. Yeah, 100%, not with that. Uh, yeah, still 100% though. Goodbye, Codex. Rascal needs to move. Can't skull mine anybody. I think what I'm just going to do with her is go somewhere and reload. And then just parry. I know I, I could have probably utilized some teamwork there with somebody. But I don't know. I think we're good here. Didn't leave anyone in the ball of psionic death. Another resistance. Biting the dust. Shane Russell. Sorry, dude. Oh, that Magma Beacon just took a hit. But it'll still be targeted from the specter since it didn't completely lose its energy. That's fine. They'll target the mimic beacon. There he goes. Okay. Mimic be beacon decoy was killed. Oh no! No, that's fine. They have two actions when they're enraged, don't they? Oh. Well, that's terrible. <laughs> And this, kids, is why you don't stand next to cars that are on fire. Missed. Yeah, shoot at the Spectre, I guess. That's fine with me. Or the Berserker. Yep, thank you. Keep going, guys. They're probably going to take care of this Berserker. Yep, nice. And then that Muton out there, hopefully. Oh, there's two Berserkers up there. I forgot about that. No, I just didn't know that. Well. Well, now he's enraged, then. Still have a couple more. Muton. 
They're missing him a lot. He is behind low cover. And these dudes' accuracy isn't the greatest. Aren't the greatest. Yeah, look at all these misses. I guess they're making up for all the awesome accuracy they had at first. Alex, I apologize. I did not know... Uh, I didn't think about that car being on fire, so that's my fault. Let's go slash at the Spectre. Is that actually the best thing we can do? Probably not. Storm, however... I think we'll use her. I strike for my people. Nice. And Carlota actually might be able to finish it off with the pistol. Does she have lightning hands? Yes. Because, well, it's only a 58%, but because of the blue screen rounds... I'm not sure yet. Xenia can probably go blast the Berserker in the face. Maybe. Well, Rascal's all the way back here. Why don't we take a shot with Rascal? Not too bad. So Alex needs to reload, definitely, but I think I'll go slash here instead. Too many enemies down here that I'm worried about. Nice fusion blade action. How many is that now? Quite a lot. And then, uh, let's see, Carlota can move up here. And honestly, well, he's out of actions. Otherwise, I'd just use teamwork on him and finish off the Muton. But for now, I think Carlota needs to take two shots at this thing. Unless, unless, yeah, it's only three to four damage. So let's do lightning hands on it. Cool. And then again. Hopefully this will take it out. Okay. Okay, so that takes care of them. Let's reconceal with Xenia real quick. They won't see a thing. And move up here. On the move. Okay, there's the Berserker. I can also take a shot at this Muton, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, who's her bondmate again? I believe. Okay, it's Rascal. We don't need Rascal right now. That just leaves us with Brendan. I'll reload. And uh, Overwatch, I guess. Or just move up. I have a lot of confidence in those Resistance fellas. Let's Guys and this. gals of the Resistance. You, uh, just parry, just in case. And Overwatch for you. Affirmative. Covering now. Number three. Sorry, Gaston. No one dies like Gaston. <laughs> okay. I know I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> it's happening, though. So, what did he just activate on? Us? Oh, he's part of the Muton squad, which probably just spotted us. That's alright, though. Nice. Nice again. Nice. Triple nice. Okay. Well, there's only a Berserker left as far as I can tell. What can we do about that? I don't know if we can do much about that, actually. Let's rock. Oh, whoops. I pressed the wrong button. I meant to run and gun. 
Well, if I give teamwork to him and he runs and guns, I might be able to go up there and finish off the Berserker. Let's try that. Let's give teamwork to Alex. I should have reloaded first. I think that ends the turn. Does it? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Now I'll reload. Alex, run and gun. Um, I don't know if he'll be able to see anything, actually. I honestly don't know. I don't think he will. But it's the last chance we have to actually take this thing out ourselves, as far as I know. He's the closest one, right? Looks like it. So yeah, let's just go for this. Run a gun. We'll go up to, I don't know, can't get up to the roof, unfortunately. We'll just go up to here, then. On the move. And if I can't see him, I'll just overwatch. Looks like it's going to be overwatch. Got it covered. Everyone else, um, move up and overwatch, really. I'll move her up farther. How about... How about here? Xenia. Actually, hold on. I kind of forgot about her, but she doesn't have... She doesn't have run and gun anyway. So it looks like I'll just put her here and, and uh, overwatch. Roger, I've got my eyes on. She's got her eyes on. Good to know, Xenia. Good to know. I've also got my eyes on. Okay. Move up here, Let's Brendan, and... Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Storm, I don't know what to do with you. I guess I'll just put you here in Pistol Overwatch. Let's see what happens. I'm guessing number four is going to go down. Yeah. Dasya Shin. Well, now they're going to take him out. I'm assuming, unless they all miss. Nope, they did not. So they took out at least, like, three or four of our enemies. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a faceless hiding up there with them. How exciting. They're like, Ben, I've known you for years. <laughs> well, at least they're... Yeah, they still have some ammo left, so... Nice. I hope there's someone left to take care of that faceless. Maybe. I have to reload, though. No, it looks like it's us. Well, this, is, this should be easy. Alex can come right in here. Like... Why? Really? Okay. Just come up here, then. Finally. Finally. I like how climbing the roof and then climbing back down, jumping in through the window is the best bet. 97%. Goodbye, faceless. Out the window you go. Oh, that was beautiful. That was really nice. We secured the remaining civilians, and there are no other hostile contacts on the scope. Good work. So out there. this is the, I think that was the most fun resistance mission I've ever been on. We rescued 15 out of 19 civilians, only nine turns, and the only wound we took was because of my stupidity standing next to a burning car. Truly a, a, a masterpiece mission right here. Let's take a good group photo. Um, New India, July 31st. I'll just say, uh, not this time, Advent. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good. Continue. Oh, there's so many good moments in that mission. Between the, the, the super high accuracy of the resistance, the, uh... I'm forgetting some of the middle moments, but that, that at the end there, shooting the faceless and just having it fall out the window at first is amazing.
matter the cost. So, Alex dealt the most damage. 100% successful shot percentage. That's amazing. Uh, Carlota made the most attacks. The Mimic Beacon was the most under fire. That is something we always want to see. That means none of these guys even got shot at in this case. And, of course, Alex moved the furthest. Awesome. This was such a good mission. Got to meet some chrysalids. Didn't get poisoned Glad at all. To see our troops finding success in the field. Me it's too. Good for the entire crew's morale. Everybody's tired. That's kind of to be expected. Let's promote Alex. He's now a major as well. So what? What do Rangers have? Well, they have deep cover if you're going the scout route. Scout route. Uh, if you don't attack this turn, hunker down automatically. That's pretty cool. Actually, that's that's very cool. And then there's untouchable. If you score a kill, the next attack during you, no, the next attack against you during the enemy turn will miss. Hmm. He's totally an assault path, so I like this enough. I'm just going to keep him going down that same path. Untouchable is great. The only thing is, with once you get these advanced troopers, advanced soldiers, I have trouble remembering what they all have. Because there's so many stacked between them all. Okay, Carlotta's leveling up to a captain. Um, I'm going to keep her going down, well, yeah, we're going to keep going down the gunslinger route. We can always buy more. Her combat intelligence is above average, which I think we raised ourselves, right? Doesn't matter. Okay. Two codex brains, 15 rescued civilians, a bunch of corpses. We can probably study chrysalids now. Yep. And Spectres. You have done an outstanding job. Nice. The resistance, Commander. So all that chosen effort, taking down the supplies from New India, we just got all that back. I mean, not coin for coin, but I'm feeling really good about this. Well, <laughs> okay, low intel. We can kind of deal with that. Although it is kind of difficult to get that back. We can do some covert actions or whatever, but... Okay, that's gonna... I think that's gonna have to do it for now. So we lost progress researching powered armor because of the... Assassin's sabotage. That's kind of okay. Went on a retaliation mission. We're kind of... we picked up a bunch of supplies. We got an advanced grenade launcher. We got a lot of stuff done. And had the best retaliation mission ever. Into the fire is going to only have a couple days left. Then we'll be able to assault the, the hunter's facility. In fact, let me see how many times we've encountered him. I think it's like, what, three-ish? Oh, we get a soldier if we investigate this place. That's pretty nice. Not right now, though. Uh, yeah, three encounters, but he's never interrogated a soldier. He's only killed two. I do not like his strengths, as I've said countless times. But, for I've now... I've already learned a great deal about your methods, Commander. And soon, I will reclaim you and all that you have taken from the Elders. I don't know what I've taken from the Elders, but, uh, yeah, you keep thinking that, buddy. Alright, anyways, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.